Hello budget enthusiasts, otherwise known as piss poor people, tonight we have a brand new review of some Bluetooth earbuds. Now, these are the A School BT-519 and here's what I think of them. First up, the price, 20 bucks on Amazon, around 20 bucks, I got it like, like 19, there's a link in the bloody description. On to the good. Great sound quality, you cheap bastards. The bass is punchy, but not overbearing. The sound is crisp and clear. Though if pushed to the maximum levels, there will be a tiny bit of distortion. They include multiple tips, all made out of rubber. And I'll come back to that in a later section of the video. They have ones with large ear hooks, ones with medium sized ear hooks, and ones with no ear hooks. The ends are magnetic, so they stick together, so you can put them around your neck and they won't fall off. So that's, nearly, that's a really nifty feature. Great range. I tested the range multiple times. They claim 10 meters. I got 15 on a relatively open interior space, and I've gotten around 9 or 10 on a tiny cramped house, so right on the money. Battery life is as promised, around about six to seven hours, depending on volume and usage. Subtle looks, they look really discreet, which is a plus for some people. Pairing works flawlessly, no issues with phone, no issues pairing with my computer as well. And there were no connectivity issues, I, had, I didn't have connectivity drops, I didn't have audio lag or anything like that. No latency, almost, well, no perceptible latency. There's obviously going to be latency. It's freaking Bluetooth. I mean, it, it's radio waves. It's not instant. Anyway, I'm not going to rant about the sciencey stuff. I'm just going to tell you very low latency, very neat, very clear sound. On to the bath. The microphone, well, not the bath, the bad. The microphone well, it sucks. I mean, what did I expect? 20 bucks and it's not a dedicated mic. It's only good for calls. It's clear enough for that, but aside from that, it's no good. Could use more buttons. It has a volume up, a volume down, and a universal on-off switch that does everything. I don't like that. I'd like a dedicated on-off switch, and I would like a dedicated pair button. So I could know when it pairs, so I don't, I find it easier to switch between devices. Now, it's also they're also a bit bulky, so you cannot sleep on them. They're not suitable for sleeping on them, which is a shame because I like not having a an earbud core tangle around my neck while I sleep, and I like sleeping with earbuds. And they're not suitable for small ears. Seriously, if your ears are small, don't buy these. The the included ear tips are too big, and I was able I was able to get around this, but I'll t I'll come to that later. Now onto the weird. When using Discord on Windows 10, I use Discord a lot. It enters a sort of headset mode, kind of like when you're answering a call. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a Windows 10 thing, so you shouldn't have any issues. It happened to me once, and then it just had this m horrible mono and choppy audio quality, I turned them on and off, I turned my Bluetooth on and off, repaired them, deleted them, repaired them, worked flawlessly. Now it works perfectly, no no issues there. Now onto the ear tip thing. I had some leftover ear tips for from a pair of cheapo Sony earbuds, the ones that cost like under 10 bucks, or at least where I live. And they fit, they fit surprisingly well. So I put those ear tips over one of the bigger ear hook ear tips and they sealed much better, but they still hurt my ear. I have some small irritation spots and, and it's really weird. So I took them off and I just put the little silicone ear tips on them. They're a little soft, I wouldn't recommend them for running, but if you have small ears, that might be your only alternative if you already purchased this, which you shouldn't because it's a waste of money if you have small ears. Are you even listening to me? You know, this is why you're piss poor. You're spending money you don't have 
on products that don't fit your body ears. Think about it. So what's my verdict? What do I think of these? To be blunt? Well, to be blunt, I'd have to be made out of paper and marijuana. To be direct. They're a great value. I appreciate that. They sound good. They'd have no issues except for the fitment of people with smaller ears. But if you have medium, large to large ears, you should be good to go. And for 20 bucks, sound quality is right on the money. It's a little above average. And I like that. 8 out of 10. Good value. Good value for money. As long as you keep in mind the fitment. Now stay tuned on this channel because I will be reviewing another set of earbuds, this time corded, which will take you by surprise. This has been the Broke AF Geek. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. And if you don't, well, I can't really do anything. It's not like I'm going to go to your house and be like, yo, dude, subscribe, because I'm not, about, not all about that life. And I can't afford a plane ticket. I mean, have you seen my channel name? Do you think I can afford a plane ticket? Do you think I would be reviewing $20 earbuds if I had money for something else? No, I would not. I'd be reviewing some Sennheiser shit. Anyway, see you around. Budget-minded enthusiasts. Have a nice day.